Let's continue to look at the passion of Jesus on the cross. I'm in Luke 23, starting in verse 32. Two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to a place that is called the skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And we see in scripture that in Jesus' final hour, in his weakest moment, as he's mustering up all the courage and strength just to be able to breathe, he's interceding for us. Jesus is praying on our behalf to God. Let's continue. It says that they cast lots to divide his garments, and the people stood by watching. The Jewish rulers scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself. If he is the Christ, if he is the chosen one, the Roman soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, Is this the king? If you are the king of Jews, save yourself. And I can picture my own self in the midst of the crowd, ashamed and distraught, as my sin, my active rebellion against a holy God put Jesus on the cross. For that was my due penalty. That was my crime, my punishment. And yet Jesus took our place. Can you imagine Jesus on the cross hanging up there, looking down on the people, the people that he created? You would think there would be anger, wrath, hatred uh, towards his enemies, towards those who place him on the cross, for that would be justified. But church and anyone watching, I believe that in Jesus we see perfect love. He's loving us as his eyes fix on each one of the people there at the cross. For I can imagine him thinking, I'm dying for you, for unless I die, you can have no part in me. And so yes, I can save myself, but for your sake, I came into this world born to die so that you might live forever. So Father, please forgive them for they know not what they do. Let's continue in the rest of the paragraph. It says, One of the criminals who were hanged up there railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and save us. But the other rebuked, saying, Do you not fear God? Since you are under the same sentence of condemnation, and we indeed justly, for we are receiving our due reward of our deeds. But this man, he has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Ah, this is great news for us, church. Please know that God's heart is that none of us shall perish, not one soul, but that all will be reconciled back to him through Christ Jesus. And so wherever you're at, whatever you have done, whatever you struggle to forgive yourself, know that Christ is always, always willing to forgive those who put their faith and their trust in him.